You've seen me play Surgeon Simulator before, but you asked for it in VR. Let's play. Pee woo. Okay. Oh, whoa! I just started. There's a ringing phone. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Congratulations. Okay. You've won a holiday for two to Pyongyang, North oh. Korea. Oh, I don't want to go to North Korea. To no, prize. this just sounds like spam. Uh. All right, looks like there's a heart transplant surgery that I need to do on patient named Bob. I will say this is pretty realistic for a medical thing, except that water bottle is not excusable in here. No! What is this? What is this diazepam? You can't have controlled substances here. Oh, okay, we have a patient. We have tools. There's a lot of blood on the walls. Do I have guidance as to what I'm supposed to do? Nope. I'm grabbing the saw and I'm gonna start cutting gently this area because w clearly we need to take out a heart. Why is he bleeding? Chill, chill with the bleeding. And why am I not wearing gloves? Yeah. Where's my assistant too? Let's go ahead and put that down. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, I forgot this. You always forget the last rib. These aren't even anatomically correct ribs, by the way. Okay. Usually we have like a container for the ribs. I'm just gonna go ahead and rest that. Let go, let, no, 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 let go. The heart is beating, the stomach is there, the esophagus is there, the lungs are there, the liver is just chilling. There's pieces of ribs that we're gonna need to reattach after. The patient is, is losing blood, but we have some blood here. Can I reach for this or no? Oh yeah, we can, oh, nope. Doesn't look like I can reach for that. Do we wanna record this? Let's record this. Yo, we vlogged in the surgery right now. My patient, Bob, is doing really well. We're gonna get the heart out. Please like and subscribe. Okay, we got that. Let's see if I can just, oh, you can just take out his lungs. His lungs aren't even attached. This is a pretty realistic lung though. Okay, whoa, that heart is blue. That's not a good sign. We're gonna have to make some incisions there. What's the best way to make incisions? How do you turn off this saw? I don't know. Okay, my guy's just, Look at this, my scalpel is just floating on one finger. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it like this. Obviously there's a lot of bleeding, I'm cutting a heart. Let's just get rid of this esophagus because this esophagus is bothering me. Oh, I got the esophagus. I'm gonna go ahead and arrest the esophagus right here. I cut the aorta, which is not good because my patient's bleeding out. I need to get my scalpel again. Okay, looks like we got the heart nice and cut. Let's go ahead. And Get rid of that heart. Where's the other heart? Is it in here? Wait, I need another heart. He's dying. Is there no heart? There's gotta be a heart. He died. And it was going so well. Brutal murder achieved in a mere few seconds. But wait, where's the, oh, is it in here? Dang. Okay, hold on. Give me another chance. Let me just check if this is where the heart is. Whoa, shit. Yo, my bad, bro, I dropped your heart, Bob. Let's just go ahead and re See, if I feel like if I put it in there, that's gonna be a problem to get it out. So you wanna keep it nice and slushy right here. All right, this is taking way too long. I'm gonna use the oscillating bone saw here, which by the way, if you hit a patient with a bone saw on their skin, it doesn't actually cut them because it just moves very rapidly. It doesn't actually spin, it vibrates. So it shouldn't technically cut anything else. So this is the safest thing we can use to cut these bones. Oh, see, that was misinformation right there. Whoa, it's like, you think I can juggle this up? Oh, shit. I wonder if I can get sued for this. Let's cut all the aorta. Okay, we got the heart loose. We need to act quickly here. Let's replace this broken heart with the good heart. Uh, Oh! Look at all the balloons in my room. Oh, you can't kick them? Ready? Dunk on the patient. Next mission. Let's learn about our patient today. We don't know age. Needs a kidney transplant. High risk for blood loss. We'll just practice writing. Take two and call me in a M. Let's go ahead and sign this up. Oh, we got a phone call. Yes? Oh, I picked up the whole phone. Hello? Hello, medical office. Okay, they don't care. Okay, 
We have a patient whose intestines are exposed. We have the large intestine, small intestine, stomach, liver, lower rib cage. The patient has one toe larger and longer than the rest. That is not the big toe. Let's see how our patient's doing. Sir, you okay? Okay, we got him knocked out. Let's do a, a little vlog. Yo, we here with Bob. Bob messed up his heart. Now we need to get Bob's kidney. So we're about to get Bob's kidney. Please like and subscribe. What up, what up? Oh. I don't even know what this saw is for, but basically I'm gonna go ahead and insert this right above the rectum. It's definitely very bloody. Let me use two hands here. The large intestine refuses to be cut. My patient's bleeding out. Why does it feel like the large intestine is like metal? What even is this, a lightsaber? Oh, it's a um, electrocautery tool. Oh no, my patient's bleeding out pretty bad. Let's cauterize that. Maybe I need to give him some of this. How do you give syringes? Give it to him in his face maybe? In his neck, does that help? Oh, no, he's bleeding a lot with that. That's a blood thinner. Oh, I gave him the wrong one. Ah, uh, brutal murder achieved. Okay, I need to restart this one. Anytime you have a sharp in the field, you wanna be gentle. I say that as I'm cutting through all of his organs. Oh, he's bleeding bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that liver. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, what am I looking at? Why is there a video of me? Is it the stupid camera? Quick. God, there's so much, so much intestine here. Oh, I dropped some. Stomach, you just, will hang out right here. Oh, oh. Okay, one kidney. Two kidneys. Where is the kidneys though? Oh, here. Oh! One kidney in. No! No! God. My back hurts so much! Okay, they say when you fail, get on the horse and try again, or break the patient's ribs. I think it needs to be all scalpel driven. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at that, perfect cut. You don't even need to take out the ribs. That's what rookies do. See, look at that. You see what I'm saying? This is why you go to medical school. You throw the intestines away, you clear out the space that you need. Whoa, chill, rectum. Let's get rid of the liver here. Okay, one kidney out, two kidneys out. This is already looking more promising. Kidney bean one, kidney bean two. Okay, kidney one. Oh! Oh wait, do you have to attach them or something? No, no, they're in. Oh yeah! Is that an A? Is that an A? I can't really see, my vision's blurry. I'm sure he'll live. Brain surgery. <laughs> You know, when I was in med school, that was the easiest type of surgery. Patient still Bob. Bob, what kind of lifestyle are you living that all your organs are failing? Before you start any brain surgery, you always have to start with a pee. Oh, he's sitting. Yo. Oh! What just happened? Do I have to perform in the dark? Oh my God, okay. So they made this, oh, there's the brain that I'm gonna put in. So to make the cut, I'm gonna need to. But see, this isn't the right tool for this job. Where's my oscillating saw? Here's my oscillating saw. This is what you'd want to use for this. Yep. Yep, 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 just like that. And you want to get through, gently breaking through as if you're breaking through a little egg. I think I'm good. Go ahead and put this down. Whoa, 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 What is happening? Do I have to cut it? Oh, and it just fell. Yo, go, oh, I dropped it. Okay, but that's okay, we can get this fresh one. Go ahead and put this here. Brain, slam dunk, let's go, let's go. Let me see anyone try and top that. I went to scratch my face with the artificial hand as if it's my hand, <laughs> okay. Let's begin the eyes. Well, first things first, you're gonna have to remove the patient's goggles. Hmm. We need to take these out. Oh look, there's eyes in here. It's so weird. Um, do I have to cut off these goggles? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, see? Sir, can you tilt your head just a little bit? 
You're really gonna stay in that direction, huh? Oh no, I need you. There you go. Keep that eye open for me, would you? I'm gonna need to gently, oh, drop the scissors on your lap. Sorry about that, sir. Let's go with the like a little sharp mini blade here. Oh, I left the scalpel inserted into your eye. Okay, looks like I think I, I think I got it loose. There you go. Okay, one eye out. Sir, can you open up your other eye? You wanna make a cut right at the retinal artery here. You wanna shake the person's head, get the eye loose, and then just make some gentle cuts right at the eye. Hanging, there we go. Okay, and then basically what you wanna do is you wanna empty out the spare eyes here. I'm assuming these are the right eyes. So you wanna go ahead and pop those back in. Let's get rid of the right eye. Oh, actually that, that was the left eye, I messed that up. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and pop that bad boy in. What's up, hey! Look at that. You see that? Those are the eyes I put in for you. Pay me your copay. I actually did a whole Draw My Life video about my story coming to America. Click here to check it out. The animations are super fun. And as always, stay happy and healthy.